Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with some pretty and pink looks because the Barbie movie is coming out and everything is sort of moving toward a pink moment and we all knew that it was going to happen and it's happening. So um, to go ahead and start off, I as far as my base, I have the Super Goop um, Glow Oil with the SPF 50. And um, I did go ahead and use the Oma by Sharon C. And this one, I think, is T2. Yeah, it is. So it's Fair Lady T2. So that's what I have on as far as my foundation today. Did go ahead and use ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. And then I did get in a couple of new products and um, I had to go looking for these. And I want to thank Ulta and thank Ulta and thank Ulta. Um, where I'm at, some of Ulta stores have the Wet n Wild in store and some of them don't. And so, excuse me fuzzy there. Um, I did have to go looking for the Alice in Wonderland set and I did pick up a couple of things. I think I'll probably pick up the whole set. It just, it's a fun pretty one. Um, you can get it on the Ulta website. You can order it or you can get it over at um, the Wet n Wild website and I think it's going to be coming out in um, maybe this week in a couple of the uh, stores or a, a couple of um, like Walgreens and Target and things, but I haven't seen it yet. So uh, this is the blush palette and it's called Talk to the Flowers. And I did go ahead and use, this is my blush. This is a highlighter. I didn't go ahead and use that one. But again, a really pretty palette. And um, I like how they do these round palettes. And then the other one that I got was Curiouser and Curiouser. And um, it's again the Alice in Wonderland. And um, this is the highlighter palette from that. And if you're a, if you like Wet n Wild, this will be familiar because they've done this type of palette before. And I just swirled my blush or swirled my brush and I used it as a blush topper today, not necessarily as a highlighter, but I think it turned out kind of fun. So um, again, highly recommend these ones if you're out and about and looking for that kind of thing. And um, let's see, as far as what I did for the eyes, um, I picked up this palette over at Ulta and I wasn't looking for a pink palette, but as far as a grown up pink palette, I think this one really hits it. Um, it's the Candy Shop by Juvia's Place and um, this is what I have on my eyes today. It's about uh, three fourths uh, pink shades and a whole bunch of uh, duochromes in here as well. So I have uh, this on my crease and then I went ahead and put this one on my brow bone. Uh, this one actually on the lid. Um, I did this one on the inner corner and it's one of the duochromes and I went from the inner corner up to the eyebrow with that. And then I went ahead and used this one which is gold with red and I went ahead and put that right under the brow. And I think it turned into a really pretty look. I also put a pop of the silver right on the middle of the eyelid. So um, if you're looking for a grown up pink palette, I think this one would probably work. And um, like I said, I wasn't looking for a pink palette, but it's definitely two thirds to three fourths pink colors. So um, I think it'll work really well. And I'm really enjoying the looks that I'm getting out of it. This is how the look turned out. And I did go ahead and use the Imride Purple Eyeliner as well in there. As far as I went, I did for the lips. I used the Superstay Ink Crayon uh, from Maybelline and used that and then added some of the ColourPop um, So Glassy in Epiphany on top of it. So yeah, that's what I got for the lips there. And um, let's see, what else did I do? Um, I used some Maybelline Sky High and I thought that they were uh, the 
the digital, uh, it was so cute. It was on the, I think, the WhatsApp and makeup, and they had um, a bus with an eyelash go um, over an eyelash comb. So it was sort of like this, except for it was a pink uh, sky high, and it was so cute. And I guess it was all digital, but I think Maybelline did a really good ad campaign with that one for the sky high. I just thought it was adorable. And then the next Thicket Stick It, and um, so I went ahead and used this as well. But again, the Sky High, um, that digital promotion that they did was just, I mean, talk about creativity. It was really good. And um, let's see, and you can see it in What's Up in Makeup if you go and look back a couple of, actually, it should be like last Saturdays, I think. And um, other than that, I think um, that's probably the look. It's definitely a pretty in pink. Uh, look, and I think that that's all that I have at the moment. Um, but like I said, if you're looking to do something pink, uh, definitely this is a grown-up palette that'll get you there. And um, I think that's about it. And thank you and have a good day, okay? Bye.